For those out there who feel restless like I did, I suggest you jump into life in whatever way that means for you. Feel the freedom in the air as you leap up high, high, so high. And don't worry about what it will feel like when you land. Because guess what landing is? It's discovering you. The RV Entrepreneur Summit was filled with so many amazing people that each in their own way kind of impacted and shaped how I travel on the road now. This is already turning into an amazingly inspiring event. Yeah, so we just wanted to thank everyone for coming out. I know we're kind of blown away by how many people ended up coming to this. Woo! We were talking about it. Like, we grew it together, like, starting in October. We started planning this, and Alyssa and I came to this campground, and we were talking with Sissy and Al, who have been amazing hosts, and this campground is awesome. And we said, yeah, we think we made Woo! The first night was like the meet and greet. All I can say is that the RV Entrepreneur Summit is a must see event. If you're uh, thinking of going and living the nomad life, here I am with a ton of amazing RV entrepreneurs and I'm really stoked to be a part of all these people. It was like instantly right there, it just, it all clicked to me. I was just like, wow, I totally get what all these people are doing and why they're doing it. It is officially day one in the morning of the RV Entrepreneur Summit. I'm gonna go inside. They have our first lectures happening. For myself, the highlight of the trip, there was gonna be a photography workshop. I'm just getting into photography myself. Our instructor is this guy named Joe Hendricks. This is Joe. Dude, Hi. Joe, pleasure it's to good to meet you. Man. Just the nicest, kindest guy you could wanna have try to teach you his craft and skill. But it's all because I went out on the road and I went and took those pictures and I decided to like, not give up on it. So I didn't even know what to expect from nighttime photography. It was like magic. How did this just appear on my camera? We just took our 10 minute break. Holy crap. Uh, we had awesome speakers from photographers to a full-time family that is actually living on the road and has been doing it for three years. so freaking inspired like this incredible people uh giving me insight and giving me faith that this is the right choice for me you ready you up next yeah. we're always ready we're in the speech guys <laughs> no pressure no pressure we're, we're gonna be really camera. boring Just walk into the camera. No pressure. Yeah, we're not funny it's <laughs> the escapers were really integral and in making me relate to the idea of this community of nomads Every summer, thousands of pleasure-seeking tourists head for the great outdoor playgrounds of America. RV Wanderlust. Now, these are two amazing people. Absolutely no regrets. We, we love traveling full-time. We love the flexibility of it. They have really figured out that hack of how to integrate Nomad into their lifestyle. We do have a three-month-old. Uh, some of you know him as Baby Nomad. How to become impactful and how to engage with an audience. And the favorite spot is this wonderland of nature called Jellystone National Park. So the next speaker that I met was Jill. She is one of two people that were on this excursion that were also solo travelers. One of the things that you absolutely need as a solo traveler is a support network. And so you might find that you are will become one another support network. Um, I have uh, many, many road angels. <laughs> She became a friend that I know that I can turn to if ever there's just a complication with being lonely or being isolated. She gave me a great gift, which is the gift of being humble and being able to ask for help. But while these eager beaver motorists are trying to get into beautiful Jellystone Park, one rugged individualist is trying to get out. Okay. My brain's like, because like it's just filled with knowledge right now, and I'm completely overwhelmed with it, but I feel really motivated, which is why I'm vlogging right now while other people are doing chairs. But I'm going to go help them with the chairs now, so I'll do that really quick. 
the amazing thing about jumping into life is you begin to notice the people jumping right next to you that you never saw before, and you're all having so much fun. I love Ellen, and she always takes that selfie with people, so we're gonna do. Oh, good morning, everybody. So, uh, took a day, decided to sleep in a little bit. Just keeping in mind why you why you travel, I am always keeping that at the bottom of my thoughts, the top of my thoughts. And I believe that gaining clarity on that question and designing your whole day, your business, and your life around what's your highest value is going to give you just an absolutely amazing life. I'm gonna go back to the conference, give myself some more education. Here's my motivation, highest value, and it's love. It's love of friends, it's love of family. <sighs> if I want to continue to build my relationships and if I look at that as the highest value in which my business is based, then I have to say, is my plan allowing me to meet all of my priorities? It's funny because it's like a little bit cold and sometimes you just like sleep in because it's bundled up and you just want to sleep in. And other times the cold kind of like wakes you up and makes you feel like ready to go. And... Um, another absolutely epic work experience was um, in Idaho, where's Ron Van Life? Is he up yet? Depending on the day, you just kind of have that feeling. And... <laughs> Notice I didn't say, is he here? Is he up yet? Today was a... Let me just kind of cozy and sleep in a little bit. When I finally woke up and arrived, it was just more great presentations, and I won some cool stuff from WeBoost, and we got more giveaways. I mean, it was all just so rad. We are at uh, lunch break, or as I like to call it, Ron's finally going to take a shower break. I just love how philosophical and educated and dynamic all of these people are. They're very much a part of a community that I think is going to constantly be growing in America, but I think we're all starting to kind of figure out why it's happening, and I'm really excited to be a part of that. The story of PJ is why I bought PJ almost more than, like I can work around all the, the mechanical things that I'm gonna have to work around, but I'm, never, I'm very rarely gonna get a story like this. So again, the van tours even brought me new people, including Ditching Suburbia, who actually invested in a Class B camper van themselves and are traveling across the country. They're great folk. This gets me to our keynote speaker of the RVE, who is this incredible soul, the wisest, most genuine, authentic, relatable, adventurous being that I could ever imagine be the centerpiece of the RVE Summit. And that, of course, is Bean. Bean is an amazing dog. Oh, yeah, and uh, there's also Kyle, who's the other keynote speaker. He's okay. I mean, Bean's really the center stage. Kyle's, you know, meh, kind of like in there. <laughs> Being beholden to time, you know, feeling that the busy time where we say we're busy, you know, I, I'm at war with busy. I think busy is a lack of priority, you know, to say like, oh, I, I can't do that, I'm busy, is to say like, oh, that, that doesn't meet my priorities and my needs, I, I don't have space for that, you know. But I think busy is, we, we actually do feel like we can't, rather than we shouldn't, you know. Learning how to say no is a pretty powerful thing. I have made a friend for life and a fellow philosopher of the road with Kyle. How did you get to be so philosophical? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I kind of laughed and started to answer a little bit, but it stuck with me, and I was like, wait a second, this is, this is the question. Me and Kyle could talk about nothing and talk about everything all at once, and that's just a... It's very rare to find somebody that you truly know inspires you, and Kyle inspires me. A lot of this lifestyle is hard. It requires work. It's expensive. It's smelly, <laughs> but it's worth it. And you get to prepare people, you have to set the expectations and allow them to grow into it. Let the experience actually 
overwhelm their expectations, you know, so they stay excited about it. All right, today we're going to hike Enchanted Rock in Fredericksburg, Texas. I don't know where I got this line of dialogue, but we just got done with the RV Summit, and we are going to Enchanted Rock in Kyle's van. I don't know where I heard that. This community of nomads all decided to go up for a hike in this amazing space called Enchanted Rock. And it was really, really beautiful, not only by scenery, but by the energy of this newly established family that had kind of come out of the RVE. This is not easy. I'm trying to get up a mountain with a very big camera. Uh, I could do it. We started out as individual nomads, traveling alone without a tribe. And by the end, we had gathered together as a family to celebrate all that we had experienced together and learn from each other. It was amazing. I'll never be able to thank Keith and Alyssa enough for inspiring me to become a van lifer. And it was so crazy because I was such a fan of their work and had this weird pseudo like, oh, maybe I'll meet them on the road. And then right when I buy the van is when I find out about the RVE summit that they're holding. And I just knew, I just knew that I had to go to this summit and meet them because something amazing was going to come from that. It is a pivotal life experience going to the RVE. All I can say is thank you, Heath and Alyssa. Thank you, Heath and Alyssa! After our time at the RVE Summit, Jason and I felt so connected and accepted, and we couldn't imagine having a better story to tell. But that is only half the story of our adventure in Texas. Come back next week to probably meet the most generous, connected, talented person I have ever encountered. Her name is Violinda, and you're going to learn her story, along with witnessing our many, many adventures in South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. <laughs>